Hi, I'm Miss Melissa at the Oosterhout Free Library Book Fight Series with the next installment of Elodie the Lamb Fairy by Davy Daisy Meadows, published by Scholastic. It's part of the popular Rainbow Magic series. Now, the goblin is trying to get all the lambs from the farm, and he's got them all acting like cats. The girls and the fairy are trying to get them back. The girls heard a rustling sound behind them turned around as a pair of green hands parted two bushes. The goblin stared at them through the shrubbery. What are you doing here? He snapped. He was glaring at Elodie. He hadn't yet noticed Fluffy under the bush. Trying to look casual, Rachel edged sideways so that she was in front of the bush. The goblin looked at the ball of yarn. I'll take that, he said, reaching out and snatching it from Kirsty's hands. I need it so I can take the lamb to Jack Frost's petting zoo with the ice castle. You can't just take things that don't belong to you, said Kirsty, pulling the yarn back. Give it to me, the goblin squawked. He scrambled towards her and Kirsty jumped and ran away out of the grove of trees and toward the sheep meadow. Rachel glanced at Fluffy and noticed that the little lamb had opened her eyes. She had half raised her head, pricking up her ears. So she's interested in the chase, Rachel said to Elodie, then cupped her hands around her mouth to call in a loud voice, Kirsty, drop the end of the yarn. Kirsty didn't know why Rachel wanted her to drop the end of the yarn ball, but she trusted her best friend. So as she was running, she unwound some of the yarn and let it trail along the ground behind her. The goblin, who was already stumbling with his big rubber boots, now tripped over the end of the yarn. Stop! He screeched angrily. Give me that yarn! He pushed himself up again and kept running. Kirsty zigzagged around the bottom of the pasture, getting closer and closer to the shrubbery. Then, as fast as lightning, Fluffy suddenly darted out and pounced on the end of the yarn with a loud meow. While Fluffy was busy patting the yarn string with her hoof, Rachel rushed forward and put her arms around the little lamb. Elodie fluttered down and placed one hand on Fluffy's back. Immediately, Fluffy shrank to fairy size and let out a loud, Bah! Hooray! Kirsty cheered, throwing her arms around Rachel. Thank goodness, she's a lamb again! The goblin sank down on the grass and rubbed his eyes. I only wanted to cuddle her and feel her soft wool, he said in a sad voice. She's so sweet! Elodie's face softened as she looked at the goblin. Rachel and Kirsty could tell that she felt sorry for him. There are other ways to enjoy the feel of a lamb's wool, said the little fairy in a gentle voice. She waved her wand and a sweater appeared on the goblin's knee. It's bright green and it looked as fluffy as a lamb. The goblin picked it up and pressed it against his cheek. This is the softest thing I've ever felt, he said. He cuddled it and stroked it against his other cheek. A big smile spread across his face. It's for you to keep, said Elodie. The goblin jumped up and skipped away across the pasture. We should go back to the lamb's pen, said Kirsty. Now that Fluffy is back with Elodie, all the little lambs should be back to normal. Let's go and find out, said Rachel. The girls raced across the pasture to the pen, with Elodie zooming along in the air behind them. But when they reached the pen, they saw there was still only one little lamb inside. At least it's behaving like a lamb again, said Rachel, watching him springing around the pen. The girls stepped into the pen and the lamb trotted over to them, bleeding with happiness. They stroked it and it nuzzled them both. The other lambs must still be wandering around the farm, said Kirsty. How are we going to find them and get them to come back here? How will they find them? Or will they find them? We'll find out next time from the Oosterhout Free Library.